All right, all right. We're back again, and we're going to be going over uh, changing the backdrop, changing the time and lighting, and changing the weather. Uh, all three of these are in the same tab over here, environment settings. This is also where you can change your theme of your course if you want to. This is something that I've never done and something you probably shouldn't do. I don't know exactly how it affects your course, but I wouldn't really want to see it. If you're going to select your theme, make sure you have this theme you want off the bat. It's usually just the best way to go. Uh, now, our first little one other under theme is backdrop. Our backdrop is very simple. I uh, usually have three options per course. You have a flatter one, a slightly hillier one, and then you usually have the hilliest one. And I usually will just go with the hilliest one because it gives the best views, it gives the best in the background. There's not really a lot to this. The only thing you'll have to keep in mind about the hilly terrain is it will sometimes interfere with your lighting. So I might go with the slightly hilly one instead. Uh, just so I can show you guys how to do some of the lower lighting on the course. So now we're coming down here to our lighting. And there are three tabs here. You have your time of day. You have your orientation, so which way the sun is shining. You can see how it's rotating all the shadows down there. And your inclination. Uh, this will kind of give you the uh, kind of a sunset, sunrise effect if you're working with it a lot. So usually what I will like to do is I'll come in here. I'll select about 8 a.m., 7.30, somewhere around there. I will turn the orientation to where I can get a lot of sun usually on my signature holes I'll try to uh, make sure I'm getting a lot of sunlight on those holes so I think this one I'm gonna try to do from over here so it kind of gives these shadows on this bunker now keep in mind when you're doing this you can only select like one or two holes that you want to have really good lighting on so these holes will usually be your picture holes the holes you're gonna uh, take a picture of to publish the course so I'm going to keep a good view there and a nice little view there up towards our green. Uh, and that's pretty much it with this. Uh, you can mess with these a lot to find what type of lightings you want. The only thing I'd be careful is, is don't go too dark because if you try to go in this little zone right here where it is like a low sunset, you can get some fully dark times when you're playing your course and it can uh, give a couple visual glitches every now and again, which isn't, isn't very fun. So I usually like to stay up more towards the 7.30 time when the sun's already up a little bit. It still gives that nice uh, screen glare that everyone likes. So this is usually the best time to stick with. And our last tab on here is weather. This is something that I usually never use. Uh, you can mess with this if you want. There are some little funny things on here. Uh, you've got clouds, thickness, uh, the height of your clouds. Just a bunch of little fun tabs in here that can do little things. You can select rainy, overcast, all that type of stuff. Uh, I usually don't mess with any of this. I usually just keep my course sunny, but if you want a rainy course or an overcast course or a lightly cloudy course, go right ahead. It's all up to you. But I don't usually mess with any of this. It just kind of stays here as is. Uh, I might make a rainy course with once in a blue moon. And our final one down here is terrain settings. These are all the things that you saw a while ago. I wouldn't really mess with these after you create your course because it's just going to create clutter. It's going to add new things in. Like, say if I wanted to add more rocks, all that's going to do is add a bunch more rocks around the world. And that's just going to cause more problems for me. So I'm just going to keep that out. Same thing with trees, hills is going to change the layout of your whole land. It's just, I would not never mess with any of this stuff over here. And in terms of environment, uh, that's pretty much all that is in here in the environment settings. If you have any questions about any of these, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.